on July 24th, we declared that the Ebola outbreak in Western uh, DRC was over. Uh, but just a week later, we were notified of another Ebola outbreak, this time in the eastern part of uh, DRC, and which is, as you know, the northern Kivu. Uh, and because we knew, um, you know, the northern Kivu area, it has its own uh, uh, factors that may actually be a con create conducive environment for the transmission of uh, Ebola. Uh, we decided to go immediately to see the situation on the ground. And that's why uh, we traveled, myself, the, uh, our regional director of the Afro region and uh, the deputy director general of uh, emergencies together. And we have tried to see the situation firsthand. Before uh, I went there, as I said earlier, I was really worried uh, because of the uh, different nature of uh, the Ebola outbreak in eastern uh, DRC. Uh, but after uh, the visit, uh, I, I am actually more worried. This is a very dangerous enemy, and we have to be vigilant, and we have to follow 24-7. And we need to be very flexible in changing the way we tackle uh, the uh, virus uh, based on the situation. We have to be pragmatic. At all levels, including myself, we're focused on following up uh, the situation, and the follow-up is 24-7. If we really work hard and fight hard and we try more aggressively than the virus, which is a very aggressive virus, uh, I know we can contain it as soon as possible.